Throughout the years in the Empire, Darth Vader lived an isolated life mostly. But there was one particular stormtrooper that Vader became very fond of and started training in lightsaber combat. A lightsaber ignites. Creel's green lightsaber lit the room in a beautiful green hue. He ordered all the training droids to be set to maximum combat levels. All the safety protocols deactivated, and his last word said was, Long live the Emperor. We see that three protocol droids were standing by, set to maximum. He immediately engaged in fighting against all these fierce droids. He deflected two bolts back, but one of them hit Creel hard. Suddenly, all three droids were force pushed to the wall. Destroyed immediately, Creel is too slow and cumbersome. It was Darth Vader speaking. He mocked Creel for being too much of a stormtrooper. He can try all he wants, but Creel will never become a Sith Lord. Creel calmly dismissed Vader's comment. He told Vader that he is not interested in becoming a Sith at all. Standing toe to toe with Darth Vader, Creel said that it wasn't the Sith who saved him from death on Chagar 9. It was the 501st. He was a trooper to the core a stormtrooper who appreciated a good lightsaber. Vader took the lightsaber from Creel through the force. This was a saber that Creel had not earned. Vader should melt the lightsaber and Creel too for his failures. He had previously failed Vader aboard the Harbinger, so the question was, why should Vader give Creel and his squadron another chance? He pointed the lightsaber at Creel's throat. Now was the time that Creel needed to be convincing. Again, Creel, with no fear whatsoever, told Vader that they won't fail him again. If they do, Creel personally will take this lightsaber and shove it through his chest before taking out his entire squadron too. He promised that to Vader. The Sith Lord was stunned. Creel was not joking, he was brave and loyal to the core. Vader then lowered the lightsaber and informed him where the rebels were suspected to be at this time. If he ends up finding Skywalker, he will bring him directly to Vader at once. However, this lightsaber was a weapon of a Jedi. He died with this lightsaber on his hand. It has seen many battles. Vader ordered him to take care of it and be worthy of carrying a lightsaber. At that moment, someone walked in. It was Emperor Palpatine. Creel was stunned. He was left speechless. He had never been in the same room as Palpatine before. It was an honor to kneel before the Emperor. Yes, Palpatine commended the trooper even though he had no idea who Creel really was. Just like that, the meeting was done. Vader left with Palpatine and Creel, well, he was the stormtrooper who could stand toe to toe with a lightsaber. But what thoughts were racing through his mind? While on their search for the rebels, they come upon a horrible creature oppressing a village of natives. Well, Creel wasn't alone. His scar squadron accompanied Creel, and the sergeant introduced the hideous creature to Zook, a giant who just happened to serve the Empire and was a member of the scar squadron. <laughs> This is what happened to the evil overlord once Zook was finished with him. The villagers rejoiced, they were finally free, and in turn, they helped Creel locate the hidden rebel outpost located on this system, but more specifically, Horrocks 3. A quiet day for the rebels was suddenly disrupted by Imperial presence. Scar Squadron completely annihilated the outpost and the rebels stood no chance. As the rest of the squad was dismantling everything in their path, Creel was saying that he saw me and I saw him. The trooper beside him apologized, he didn't quite hear him. Who actually saw the sergeant? Creel answered, the Emperor. He looked right at me, and my knees turned to jelly. My teeth throbbed, like I was in a room with a bolt of living lightning. He is the reason why Creel fights. Opposite to the other trooper, we see how proud to be an Imperial Sergeant Creel really is, because the other guy just said, I fight because because I don't want to get shot. That didn't fly with Creel. As Vader said once, you were either with him or against him and his empire. Even more so now that Creel had quote unquote met with Palpatine, his 
his resolve was much stronger and unshakable. The real truth, of course, is that Palpatine didn't even care about a measly stormtrooper. It is apparent when he actually meets him. Palpatine tells Creel to his face that the Empire needs more soldiers like him, whoever you are. But Creel chose to ignore that last part. He chose to ignore that in the end, he was a nobody who served an empire that will never know who Sergeant Creel was. In the midst of millions of other stormtroopers. A truth that spills in our own world, really. Countless of nameless soldiers, unfortunately. What's kind of interesting, though, is Creel's description of Palpatine. Living lightning. Metaphorically, you could interpret it any way you like, but... I would love to know what do you see in this description. Palpatine is like living lightning. Talk to me down in the comments. Tell me what you think. That's it for this video, guys. And if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. Hit that bell to get notified the moment a new video is up. Have an awesome day, my Star Wars friends. And may the Force be with you always.